Jai Maharashtri Mata Ki. So we'll continue our program and uh, I'm sure you're all having a very pleasurable experience with all the poems and Pukumachinas, uh, everything of this are doing a great job. And uh, we'll continue for the next five more days. So the next part in our today's evening program is it's time for our Swamiji's discourse. So again, I remind you, silence your phones, please. No photography, no videography, no recording, please. And uh, we have Harshad Bhai doing all the recording. And then uh, if you miss it or if you want to share it to someone else, please contact Harshad Bhai. Not now, later, after the event. Uh, so, uh, but the reason why I'm saying go to recording and all, it is bothering the person sitting next to you. That's the main important thing. And also that's the reason we have one authorized or two authorized people taking photographs and videographs. And that will continue all, of, all through the event place. So keep that in mind. No photos, no videos when you walk in silence your phones. Thank you very much. Now I request Swamiji to continue the discourse. Thank you. Anything that is valuable to you, 
will naturally assume the position of being well. Something that you value will become valuable. Something which for which you have importance becomes your wealth. When you have importance for money, money is wealth. When you see that your children are important, your children are your wealth. And that is why we have Santana Lakshmi. So whatever you place the value in becomes wealth. And what is it that you value? What makes you value something? Have you ever questioned this? When you are going to say something is important to you, Am I audible to the fathers to the last over there? Can you hear me? Good. Am I audible here, Ramesh? Okay. Closer to me? Okay. Right. This is okay? Yes. This is better. Okay. Okay. It will slowly sink. Go down. <laughs> You know, when we were studying there in one of the ashram, then there was this one brahmachari, she was very strange. So that my used to become so loose, and then slowly it would start drooping down. She would go down, you know, to my At the end of her bhajan, she's down, you know. <laughs> Fun. Anyway, so, but I'm not going to do that, okay? If you're waiting for me to go, I'm not going to do that. question this. Different people have got different things to value. There are certain things which everyone values in general. For example, um, the money, gold, hmm? car, bigger house. Huh? These are the things that you value. Huh? In general. In general. But there are certain other things also which you value very much. I was in Turin, Torino in Italy, and the royal family of Turin for last 2,000 years has kept the shroud of the Christ. Whether it is real or just a piece of art is a different, different issue to discuss. In Italy, next to Rome, this family has been able to keep that shroud of the Christ, in which the claim is that if there was anything like historically speaking a person existed as Christ and when he was killed, they wrapped his body in a piece of cloth. It was just a piece of cloth. You can understand, it is just a piece of cloth which is, which is older than any of your clothes purchased during your wedding time also. But it is valued very much. Valued. What is it that gives it that value? It is not the cloth, it is not its age, because there could be cloth. One can find pieces of cloth in the Egyptian tombs, 
dating earlier than that. But this happens to be of extremely valued possession by that royal family. You have, you may be wearing a bangle or a ring of your father, mother, someone, and it is so valuable that even if it looks ugly, you don't want to change it. Now my question to you is, what is it that makes you value something? We are, we are talking about wealth, and wealth means something that can be valued. We have various things in life, and they are being valued by us. Which means, they assume certain importance in your life. If you are asked to exchange one of the two rings, a newly purchased ring, and maybe your father's or mother's ring, a ring which your husband has purchased and a ring which your father had given. <laughs> <laughs> dharma Sankar? <laughs> and then I ask them, this is not a Dharma Sankar, they are very easy choice. <laughs> what? What is it that you find it is, it is valuable? Now you see, maybe some old photograph. In Mumbai, I had gone, I was invited to some house. These people have got one pot of water, Gangajal. And this pot of water is the prized possession of this family. You know for what? Because they had washed Uriya Babaji's feet with that water which they have stored. The Mahatma, great sage, his feet were washed and that they have kept in their family as a heirloom. It goes from one generation to the next. Just a pot of water becomes a heirloom. Very valuable. Why? The reason is very simple. Anything which you find is a source of your happiness becomes valuable. Anything which promises happiness, whether it delivers happiness or not is a different thing. <laughs> but even a lurking possibility that it can deliver you happiness makes that object important to you. So truly speaking, what is it that is valued by the person? You see, what is valued by person is sukham. And anything that becomes a source of your happiness then will become valuable. Please mind you, all of us who are sitting over here. You know, we have this common complaint. Each one of us. My husband does not value me. My wife does not value me. My parents do not value me. My children do not value me. Understand that it is not by demand unless and until you have become a source of happiness. Unless and until you have become that source of a joy for anyone, you will not be valued. This is the value. And therefore, even that which blocks the happiness also becomes important but only to be avoided. If there is a person who kills your happiness now and then by his words or actions, 
and that person may not be, you know, somebody outside, could be very much a member of your family or people who are working together, very often they, these are the only people. That's why we have the greatest war was fought between the Pandavas and Kauravas in the family. Though it appears like a civil war, Mahabharata is a civil war, but it is right within the family. We good. And then, whenever we become a source of nuisance, or a source to give, to come, then that person becomes important, but in a very negative way, wanted to be, wanting to be avoided. And therefore, we have two types of wealth. One is the Daivi Sampak and the other one is called as the Asuri Sampak. Now you see the reason why Bhagavan Shri Krishna has made this distinction. Also you will remember